Oh, greetings, Michelle. Good morning, Mark. As we spray and sort ourselves out again. Well, thank you for joining us today again for our communion service. Today is uh, what we call Remembrance Sunday in the sense that we remember those who lost their lives in the, in the Great Wars particularly. Um, the 11th of the 11th, so the 11th of November is when the armistice was signed at the end of the First World War. It was the same day that Victory Japan was signed at the end of the Second World War. And so we commemorate those who've been lost uh, in war and other skirmishes around the world and just those that have been lost anyway and who's kind of who we remember at this time. So we're going to do a short lit liturgy at the f start of the service this morning. But first I just want to run through birthdays quickly. Um, our birthdays today are Alan Bradder and Jean Phillips and our wedding anniversary Stuart and Bev Hancocks. Uh, we have a number of birthdays in the coming week. Aaron Simpson, Abby Foster, John Bellingham, Hunley de Clerc, Chris Masson, Eric Pike, Bishop Eric, Jacqueline, Jackie Anderson, David Tiltman, Jill Smith, Maureen B, Everett Hoffman, Holly Andrew, Peter Searle, Carol MacDonald, Jody Pascali, Maureen Fox. Sure, the stalk was busy. And then we have two wedding anniversaries too during the week, John and Eleanor Somersell and Trevor and Janet Simpson. And we wish them all well on their birthdays and tell them to keep going in terms of their wedding anniversaries. We're now going to enter the liturgy. We give you thanks, O God, for those who serve their country in its hour of need, for those who have been true and brave, and especially for those who gave even their lives in that service. They shall grow not old as we who are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, not the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Almighty God and most merciful Father, as we remember these your servants, we acknowledge with gratitude their courage and strength, and we hold before you all those who mourn them. We pray that wars and all kinds of persecution would cease. We continue in prayer. Out of the darkness of our divided world, we cry to you, O God. Let not the hopes of people fade, nor the sacrifice of those who died be in vain. Would you, O God, turn to yourself the hearts of rulers and peoples, that a new world may arise, we all may live as your children, showing justice and mercy, truth and freedom, and live in the bond of your peace for the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise him, you servants of the Lord. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be his name, now and forever. Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. In a time of quiet, let us confess our sins. Let us firmly resolve to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with our neighbor. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought, word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Psalm says in Psalm 80, Restore us. O Lord God Almighty, make your face shine upon us, that we may be saved. If you truly repent, receive the forgiveness of God. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon your sins and set you free from them. 
confirm and strengthen all goodness and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Continue the attitude of prayer, as I say, the collect for today. Eminent God, you expect us to be vigilant in the night of sin and death. Wake us from our slumber and call us forth to greet Christ that we will follow him to eternal light. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We turn now to our gospel reading. Listen to the good news proclaimed in, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, starting at the first verse. Glory to Christ our Saviour. At that time the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins, who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps, but did not take any oil with them. The wise, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps. The bridegroom was a long time in coming, and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight the cry rang out, Here's the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, our lamps are going out. No, they replied, there may not be enough for both of us and you. Instead, go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later the others also came. Sir, sir, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, I tell you the truth, I don't know you. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know the day or the hour. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. We're looking at these different aspects at the moment as we move towards Christ the King Sunday of just Jesus' warnings about us being ready and being prepared. And obviously in Scripture you find a lot of analogies, especially around the weddings and feasts. And we pick that up again here today. Jesus often uses that analogy. And we know too that one day um, God will come for his bride. Um, Jesus will come for his bride. And we, the church, the ecclesia, the people of God, are the bride of Christ. And so this imagery con goes through scripture right from the beginning, right from the time of Adam and Eve, all the way through to the end, where we say, come Lord Jesus, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. And so that's a great reassurance for us. But also... Today's Gospel reading tells us, be ready, be prepared. Don't put off for tomorrow what you can do today. Be ready, especially spiritually, because Jesus could come at any moment. He could even come today. Don't be caught with your lamp out. Rather, keep your lamp burning. Bless you as we go now into passing the peace. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace be with you. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace be with you. We're now going to prepare the table for communion. Made it a bit full. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Wash me clear, O Lord, and in your right spirit within me. I was pleased when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. I am standing in your doorway, O Jerusalem. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. For us it becomes the bread of life.
Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. For us it becomes the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. We're going to use the first Eucharistic prayer this morning. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give Him thanks and praise. It is right indeed our duty and joy, Lord and Heavenly Father, God Almighty and Eternal, always and everywhere, to give thanks through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. Because through Him you have created everything from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through Him you delivered us from the slavery of sin when you gave Him to be born as man and to die upon the cross and to rise again for us. Through Him you claimed us as your own people when you enthroned Him with you in heaven and through Him sent out your Holy Spirit, the giver of life. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we acclaim you and declare the greatness of your glory. We praise you now and forever saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hear us, Father, through your Son, Christ our Lord. Through him accept our offering of thanks and praise. And send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts of bread and wine, so they may be to us his body and his blood. From the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this and eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, Jesus took the cup. And when he had given them thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is the blood of my new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. So we acclaim the victory of Christ. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Holy Father, these are your gifts. We, your people, celebrate before you. The one perfect sacrifice of Christ our Lord. He's rising from the dead and is ascending to the glory of heaven. Gracious Lord, accept us in him, unworthy though we are so that we who share in the body and blood of your Son may be made one with all people of this and every age. Grant that as we await the coming of Christ our Saviour, in the glory and triumph of his kingdom, we may daily grow into his likeness, with whom and in whom and through whom, by the power of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour be given to your mighty Father by the whole company of earth and heaven throughout all ages, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The bread which we break is not a sharing in the body of Christ. We who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. Let me give thanks over the cup. We realize Jesus' great love for each one of us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us your peace. We do not presume to come to this, your table, merciful Father, trust in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs from under your table, but you, Lord, are the same, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. As I always remind you, and good to be reminded during these COVID times that God is on his throne. Let the whole earth be silent before him. The gifts of God for the people of God. Draw near and receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for us, and his blood which is shed for us. Feel on him in your hearts, 
with great thanksgiving. The body of Christ. The blood of Christ. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious. His mercy endures forever. Almighty and eternal God, we thank you for feeding us in these holy mysteries with the body and blood of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and for keeping us by your grace in the body of your Son, the company of all faithful people. Help us to persevere as living members of that holy fellowship and to grow in love and obedience according to your will, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Join me in the dangerous prayers you take this out today and into the world. Father Almighty, we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice in Jesus Christ our Lord. Send us out into the world in the power of the Holy Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. I'm now going to use a doxology from Jude right at the back of the Bible. Now to him is able to keep you from falling and to present you before his glorious presence, without fault and with great joy. To the only God, our Saviour, be glory, majesty, power and authority through Jesus Christ our Lord, before all ages, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. In the name of Christ, Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah.